welcome to this video where we're talking about what's in a $100,000 audio kit versus a beginner type of a setup. Brendan told me he had a $100,000 professional audio kit and uh, I just don't believe it. I don't think you do. I do. It's it's true. My curiosity, Brendan, that I want to talk about today is why you need this stuff, why yeah. you have this stuff, how long is it taking you to get this stuff, what if I can't afford $100,000 of audio gear. First of all, do I need $100,000 of audio you gear? Need it. And what's the better uh, beginner option until I can get to such a setup as, as you have here. Before we dive in, this video is sponsored by Storyblocks. We love using their assets to really help our YouTube videos pop and stand out, whether that's with titles, audio tracks, images, After Effects templates, sound effects, graphics, whatever. Storyblocks is the complete stock solution with over 1 million royalty-free assets. With their affordable subscription plans, you can download and try any asset you want. And with their unlimited all-access plan, you can quickly try out multiple options and see what video or sound or title best fits your project. As filmmakers, we're always looking for high quality solutions that will save us time when we need to create a sound or a title or a graphic. And that's the need that Storyblocks saw in the industry and decided to fill. We'll put a link to Storyblocks in the description below or just go to storyblocks.com slash Parker. Thanks again, Storyblocks, for sponsoring today's video. Well, I think the biggest thing to look at is what your needs are. That brings me to this smaller kit. Let's first talk about the sure. lower end kit, what I recommend everybody having. And that is a microphone, a boom mic. For me, the lowest end mic I recommend is the Rode NTG3. You can look at the NTG5 or the 4. You would need a boom pole because, you know, you want to make sure that you can get the mic in the right position. As far as lav mics go, now there's two different ways to take this. To keep this under $1,000 or around $1,000, the Tascam DR10L Love this thing. is a great option. What's the biggest problem with the Tascam? You can't monitor the Tascam. You put well, it, it on. It has auto levels. Auto levels. Auto's good. You can set your auto limiters. Auto white balance, auto ISO. Yeah, it's all the same thing. You're right. I'm sorry. So unlike with the Sennheiser where you need a transmitter and a receiver, these have to communicate over UHF frequencies. So what happens is, is if interruption happens, then you'll get or it just completely cuts out. The advantage is, is this records to itself, so you never have to have a transmitter and a receiver. The disadvantage to that though, of course, is you can't monitor the audio, so you Because go this off is on your subject. Yeah, it goes on your subject and it's like, well, I hope it sounds good. So say we were doing an interview and we only had one boom. So if we're side by side and it's a locked off interview and you're one man band, one man show, one person crew, you could say, this isn't ideal, it's not perfectly at my mouth, it's not perfectly at his mouth, but but it's getting the general idea if we're shoulder to shoulder. If you have someone that can actively boom, then they can change between as we speak. The problem with this, and I've seen people do this, I know it sounds crazy, they mic someone up and they're like, yeah, it just doesn't sound good on the other person. It's like, right. There was no microphone on the other person. Imagine if you're shooting a subject and I'm not in frame and then you're disappointed that I don't look good in the frame. You were just shooting one person. It's, it's a weird concept. If you wanna hear someone, you put a mic on someone. One. To sum it up, if you do a lot of weddings, the Tascam is gonna be a great option. Right. If you do a lot of corporate interview type stuff, get something with a boom. And of course, if you get a boom, you will also need a recorder. I recommend the Zoom H6 or the H4N Pro for your lower end because they have the XLR ins. I did commercials for Virgin Mobile on an H6 and a Rode NTG3. That's it, no loves, no nothing. All right, okay. so Brendan. Yes. Beginner kit that we're comparing to a $100,000 professional kit, we have a NTG3. Yeah. Newer boom newer. pole from Amazon. It's around 60 bucks. Mogami XLR cable. 80 bucks. Three. Plus the recorder. Zoom H6. H6. It's 300 bucks. Your personal recommendation for the best bang for buck recorder. There are cheaper options. There are more expensive yeah. options, but you put your name behind this one. Yeah. And then just to have, good to have. 150 bucks. A love mic, 150 bucks. Our total is? <laughs> it's not quite a thousand, but if you can get this used, you'll definitely get it under a thousand. Yeah. I got this mic actually for 300 bucks with this blimp, which is crazy. So let's move on to this kit. What do you need? What do you not need? Why does it exist? This is what you bring to your shoots. To every shoot I go to, this is what I show. How do you carry it all around? Well, Nate Taylor. Hello there. So this is my mini cart. It's a custom cart. I got this from Home Depot, and then I got these drawers. They're Tanos Sustainer is the name. And then I just have everything inside There's here. There's no way this all fits on that. And it's 
100 that six figures six figures prove it so a lot of people unfortunately don't believe audio because the smaller the audio gear usually the more expensive it is so let me walk you through it we have a zaxcom nova we have two mrx 414s inside of the zaxcom nova i have my main kit and i have my backup kit in case this one goes down in this main kit we also have the audio root bds we have a wi-fi uh, distribution we have two smart batteries in here in the backup kit we have two smart batteries two zaxcom QRX 200s, another audio root BDS, a Zaxcom RX4. We have a Sound Devices Mix Pre 10 2, 10 Zaxcom ZMT3 Xs. Six of them have the DPA 4061 microphone. The other four have the DPA 4071 microphone. We have four ZMT4s with the Audio Workbench mod. We have three more smart batteries for backup. We have three Sheps CMC 541s, otherwise known as 641s. We have three Sheps CMIT 5U. We have the Ryko HC22 microphone. We have the Ryko HC15 microphone. We have the Senken CS3E. We have a Sennheiser 416. We have two Sennheiser MKH50s. We have the Neumann KMR82i. We have the NTG3. I actually have two of these in my kit, but only one is out on the table. We have eight tentacle sync time codes. We have two Zaxcom antennas. We have eight ERXs. We have 40 of these batteries. These go to the wireless systems. We have this custom thing made by my great father shout out to my dad this holds and charges 18 batteries papa by the way that's right we have an f f6 as backup 32 bit you can just do whatever we have a smart slate this is modded by my dad he added this little thing looking out for you acs a nice little smooth grip for you look at that can you put a price on that you can't put a price on that 10 grand right there we have a rycote nano shield a rycote cyclone two rycote windshields and then the blimp. road blimp right here headphones we have betso bow ties. We have six boom poles. I have four different K-Tech boom poles and two ambient boom poles. We have 30 25 foot Mogami cables because you never know how long you'll need to run something. I have all sorts of tentacle cables. These run anywhere from $30 to $100 a piece. I got all these thigh straps, waist straps, chest straps, mic straps. Brendan, is there something in every drawer on this thing? Wow. That's a full bag of Bubble Bee wind covers. I've got Comtex. Hold these. I've got Comtex. I've got Comtex. I've got more Comtex and clips than you could ever dream of. All these Comtex. I've got DPA 4071, DPA 4061. I've got uh, five B6s. I have essential oils. I have Expo markers, wind covers, fur covers, wind softies. I think we're good. Okay, Brendan, great. Here's your stuff back. My, my first question, and I have several, is why you need all this stuff. If you're not adapting and constantly analyzing where you can improve and what you need to do your job better and more efficiently, you're gonna fall behind. I'd argue, Brendan, maybe not argue, but agree that a lot of this stuff is just backups for when you need to adapt on set all of which could be used individually. But for the most part, all of this is for when you're on set and every set's different and you need to adapt. I'm sure all these mics give different results. Right? Oh yeah, and it's like most of the time, I'm rolling with these, most of the time. But there are scenarios like say there's five actors and it's all locked off. Then what I'm gonna do, I always put a love and a boom on every single person speaking. It's like coming from a post world, I understand that I want that flexibility and that option. These are all principles I feel like we all know. Yeah, we're applying them to different situations, but like think about like when you wanna shoot 24 frames per second or 60 frames per second, it's like, well, I'd rather shoot 60 so that in post, I have the option if I want it to slide on my footage. If you can get a solid boom mic and a solid lav setup and and again looking at your needs if you do weddings i think getting a zoom f2 or the tascam 10 those are going to get your job done that's really all you need that's what you need yeah and i feel like this is where some of you guys might not have a, a kit built out as much as even just a beginner thousand dollar kit yet but like brennan's saying he started with this kit right yeah. like, this is all he had where he did a series he did projects and this got him through the day because his experience level and his clientele, that's all he needed. But as he grew and as he grew into bigger things, it's like we're always talking about, if you want clients to invest in you, yep. you have to invest in yourself and into your business. And if you grow your business and you grow your kit um, <laughs> yeah. to what it is, because there are points of this kit, it's at 100K now, but there are points where it was at 2K, 5K, 10K, 20K, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm sure the more it's grown, the more you've been able to charge. Yeah, totally. Yeah, because I'm scaling my business. And right. so, you know, you bring more to the table 
valuable and you can provide more value. But you can't scale your business if you just stick with this for 10 no. years. The problem is, is I didn't have a mentor, right? I had no one to show me the ropes and say, hey, this is some good gear. This is some stuff you should look into, which is why we've put together Full-Time Filmmaker. If you wanna learn more specifically about audio, there's a link to Audio Guy in the description because mentor-based learning is a much faster way to scale your business. And you guys, we're gonna drop links to all of this stuff in our kit page, kit.co slash Parker Walbeck. We'll put the beginner's mic kit in the description below as well. But you guys, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and we'll catch you on the next one. If you guys have any further questions, please let us know.